Hello, Roger Booth here for HRP. Today we're going to talk about proper motor vehicle safety when you park the vehicle. The training we will be covering today is related to motor vehicle safety for those that do transportation. This is not training for those that may drive big box trucks or drive tractor trailer trucks or flatbeds that may be loaded with a forklift, a construction lull, or hoisting equipment. This training is primarily for those that go to a construction job site and have a toolbox in the back of their truck, delivery companies such as a florist, or Uber Eats. Hopefully you enjoy it. So, according to the National Highway Safety Transportation Administration, 142 fatalities occur every year due to roll-away accidents. That is different from a rollover where a car actually rolls over multiple times at high speed. This is where someone puts a vehicle in park, doesn't set a parking brake, and the vehicle then rolls away unattended. That is a roll away accident. 142 fatalities a year and over 2,000 injuries. The statistics are not clean though because most of these incidents actually occur on private property. So the first part of this video, what we will cover for you is properly parking on an incline whether you are parking uphill or downhill to ensure that you don't have a roll away vehicle when it's unattended. Remember, check your parking brake before you leave the parking lot where you picked up your vehicle or your driveway. To properly check your parking brake, start your vehicle with the vehicle in park, press down your brake, press down your parking brake, put your vehicle in reverse, let up on the brake gently. If the vehicle does not move, Push down the brake, put it in drive, let up on the brake, a little bit of gas, and if the vehicle does not move, press the brake, put it in park, release your brake. You now know that your parking brake has working properly. First, we'll cover parking on an incline downhill. You're gonna get as close to the curb as you can. Turn the wheel towards the curb. Then you're going to place into neutral. Release the brake a little bit so that you roll forward until the front wheels hit the curb. Get as close to the curb as you can and then turn the wheel towards the traffic side. Place the vehicle in neutral. Allow it to roll backwards until you hit the curb. Once you hit the curb, leave the steering wheel in position. If there is no curb on the road or where you are parking, you just turn the wheels towards the land, not towards the road or other traffic. Then you're gonna place the vehicle in park, put the parking brake on, shut off the ignition, remove the key, let up on the brake, and then exit the vehicle. Now that you have properly parked your vehicle, we're gonna show you how to put the blocks and chocks behind your wheels and the safety cones out so that other vehicles do not hit you or your vehicle. First is making sure you have the right blocks or chocks. In this case, this is a small pickup truck, so you do not need the fancy big rubber ones you see on tractor trailer trucks. These are made specifically for any wheel size 20 inches or smaller. This truck has 17 inch tires, so these blocks are sufficient for this vehicle. Because we are on an incline, parking uphill, you would replace one on each back wheel to ensure the vehicle does not roll backwards. If you are on an incline going downhill, Place your blocks and chocks on the rear wheels on the downward side of the tires so that the vehicle does not go forward. If you are on a flat, you actually need to put both on the same tire, one in the front and one in the back of one of the rear wheels. Now you're ready to place your safety cones to make sure people know that you are parked in a place that they may not be aware of you being there. This is not for areas that are marked parking areas, parking lots, or uh, garages. This is you're on the road and you're doing field work off the side of the road or you're making a delivery to a house that doesn't have parking out in front. 
you would remove your cones. It should be a minimum of 15 feet away. 30 feet is even better, but don't always have that amount of room on both the front and the back roadside corners of the vehicle. You may be asking, why do you go that far out? Remember, the cone is to make people aware that there's a vehicle in the driving lane. If you have the cone too close, they're gonna hit the cone and then hit your vehicle. At least if they're texting, which they're not supposed to do, but we know people do. If they hit the cone, they're probably gonna break and not hit your vehicle. In conclusion, ensure your parking brake works correctly, that when you're on an incline going up the hill, wheel goes towards the traffic. If you're on an incline pointed down the hill, your wheel gets turned towards the curb and place your safety cones and your blocks. Don't rely on anyone else. It ultimately is your responsibility to protect yourself and those around you. Don't be a statistic, please. Thank you. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Until our next video, have a nice week.